Hey guys, let's get more news about warriors, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Three new factors put Looney's warrior's career at crossroads. Kevin Looney and a warrior soon will be wading into familiar waters, but he seems to understand the temperature might not be as warm as it was in the past. The 28-year-old center has only one more year on his contract, at $8 million, with only $3 million guaranteed. With the warrior's neck deep in the luxury tax, his status is in jeopardy. Mature soul that he is, Looney understands his predicament. I'm not always in control of my future here, he said Wednesday. I always would love to come back, be part of this team, part of this organization. That's all I kind of know. But it's the NBA. When you don't make the playoffs, you lose, stuff usually happens. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but I should be prepared for the next step. This is the third time Looney has approached summer with at least a degree of uncertainty. He was re-signed to a three-year contract, player option in year three, worth $14.5 million in 2019. He was re-signed to his current contract in 2022. Coach Steve Kerr might have been Looney's biggest advocate both times. But circumstances have changed. There are three new factors. 1. The Warriors are seeking ways to trim the biggest payroll in the NBA. There will be casualties. 2. Looney's role has diminished, going from two-year starter to part-time starter this season and, eventually, shuttling in and out of the rotation. He's now expendable. 3. There is the presence of rookie center Tracy Jackson Davis, who moved into the starting lineup in the final month of the regular season, which ended Tuesday with a loss to the Sacramento Kings in the NBA play-in tournament. Looney met general manager Mike Dunleavy and Kerr on Wednesday at Chase Center and came away with no assurances. Not really. It's kind of too early, Looney said. We got a lot of things we got to figure out first. I don't think I'm top of the list. I'm going to just keep working and keep evolving my game and keep trying to get better and be able to help our team win. It's clear that Looney would like to stay with the Warriors. He has embraced the region, and his parents migrated from Milwaukee years ago and are regulars at Chase Center. As it is, Looney has outperformed projections made in the wake of surgeries to each hip and his ongoing battle with neuropathy. His pregame routine is extensive but has been crucial in him becoming the team's resident Iron Man. As recently as last season, Looney was part of the NBA's highest-rated starting lineup, along with Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, and Draymond Green. That lineup was much less effective this season. Which led to significant change. Looney's streak of consecutive games ended at 289, second longest in the NBA, on March 7 in a loss to the Chicago Bulls. He was a healthy non-participant in six of the next eight games. Yet Looney made his pitch to remain with the franchise that drafted him in 2015. I think I have a lot, left, I feel like I can get better, he said. After the first couple months or two, I don't feel like I played a lot of minutes. I didn't try to take advantage of the opportunity that I was given. I feel like I can still develop. I feel like I can continue to get better, help guys on the team get better, and I feel like I'm still learning the game and growing. On Looney's previous ventures into free agency, there always was a sense he would be re-signed. Interest was mutual, and each time he was willing to accept a hometown discount. That might not be enough this time around, considering Golden State's changing roster, its bloated payroll and Looney's shrinking role. Proposed trade gives $128 million ex-Warriors champion fresh start. The Golden State Warriors gave Jordan Poole a fresh start when they traded him to the Washington Wizards. However, following a down season in Washington, Bleacher reports Zach Buckley proposed a trade that would give Poole another fresh start. Buckley proposed the following trade between the Wizards and Utah Jazz in an April 17 story. Bucklett explained why the Jazz could have some interest in Poole. Utah, which has been in asset accumulation mode for nearly two full years now, could see this as another opportunity to fill up the coffers. 
It wouldn't have to play pool unless it wanted to, as he could easily be buried on the bench behind George, Colin Sexton, and Jordan Clarkson. Or, if the Jazz were bullish on their chances of reviving pool, they might see him as their new spark plug and use his arrival as a motivation to flip Clarkson for additional assets. He also added that Poole could get his groove back in Utah if given the chance, knowing how young he is. As brutal as this season was for Poole, he doesn't have to be a lost cause. He has filled an important role on an NBA champion before and hasn't even celebrated his 25th birthday yet. He has a knack for scoring and flashes shifty shot creation, so if he could ever harness his shot selection and decision-making, he could be helpful yet. Poole helped the Warriors win an NBA title in 2022 and will enter the second year of a $128 million contract. Even if the Warriors' season didn't go as planned, Bleacher Report's Grant Hughes explained why the Wizards were wrong to acquire Poole from them. Now, it's clear the Wizards would have been better off keeping Chris Paul, the man they dealt to get Poole. Even if all Washington did was flip Paul for an expiring deal at the deadline or decline to guarantee his $30 million salary for 2024-25, it would have been better than onboarding Poole and what now looks like one of the worst contracts in the league, Hughes wrote in an April 16 story. He explained why Poole was worse with Washington than he was with Golden State. If anything, Poole was even worse in Washington than he was during his last checked-out year in Golden State. He didn't compete defensively, shot the ball worse from everywhere on the floor, and even got booted from the starting lineup for a dozen games. He made $27.4 million this season and fell out of the first unit on a team that finished with a win total in the teens. That's about as regrettable as it gets. Golden State may not have made the playoffs, but keeping Poole may have made a bad situation worse. Poole's tumultuous exit from the Warriors started when Draymond Green punched him in the face before the 2022-23 season began. Someone filmed the fight and sent the tape to TMZ. Former Warriors exec Bob Myers admitted that he doesn't know who leaked the tape. No, we didn't find out who leaked, Myers said on J.J. Reddick's The Old Man and the Three podcast. I think the best I can answer that is, we couldn't pinpoint anybody. It wasn't like we found someone. We looked, we looked. We tried, a third party, but we couldn't. The Warriors made the playoffs anyway, but the Los Angeles Lakers beat them in six games in the Western Conference semifinals. Milwaukee Bucks have shocking odds to land Chris Paul. Could the Milwaukee Bucks make a play for Chris Paul in free agency? It's a long shot, but the possibility remains. At least that's what the odds suggest amid the questions on Paul's future with the Golden State Warriors following their play in disappointment. Paul is on a non-guaranteed $30 million contract for the 2024-25 season, so what lies ahead for him Golden State is uncertain. His contract is a big reason why the Warriors traded for him in the past offseason, as it will provide them flexibility in the offseason. The Warriors could simply use his contract as a trade asset, or even clear it off their books before it becomes guaranteed. With that being said, Paul is well aware that he could find himself in a different jersey in 2024-25. That is why CP3 also gave a vague response when asked about his future with the team following their play and exit on Tuesday against the Sacramento Kings. While nothing is official just yet, no one is stopping fans and bookmakers from making a buzz about the point God's future. Interestingly, the Bucks are among the top five teams who are favored to be Paul's next destination. According to the Bet Online AG odds, the Bucks have the fourth best odds to be the next team of the veteran playmaker at plus 900. The Bucks could really use a playmaker, especially since they have spent a good part of the past few years without a true point guard who prioritized distributing the ball. Even now, their point guard is Damian Lillard who is more of a score-first player. Having another facilitator could be what unlocks and brings the Bucks' offense to a new level instead of being heavily reliant on three-point shooting and Giannis Antetokounmpo's dominance in the paint. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Chris Paul?
Leave your opinion in the comments.